Good morning, everybody, and welcome to chapel. It was probably hard for you guys to see the countdown, what with the forest fire going on back behind us. Welcome, let's all stand for our pledges. We've got K-5 friends up here today. Mr. Joseph, here we go. A pledge Attention. and salute. Yeah. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Miss Dominique with the Christian flag. Attention, salute. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen and coming again, with life everlasting for all who believe. All right, Miss Elizabetta. I pledge and salute pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Thank you guys very much. I'll get those in a minute. Welcome to Bible Trivia Chapel. This is, I had to do a little research. This is the third time we have done this. We didn't do it last year because we were at home holding our breath because COVID was rampant. So we didn't do it but like two years ago. So we're looking forward to this. That's going to happen in just a few moments. Also, next week, we are going to have a combined chapel. We are going to join the entire school, and the chorus is going to do a warm-up for their big event, which is coming up on May 22nd. We are very fortunate to have our Bella Voce choir perform the national anthem at the Atlanta Braves baseball game. So they're going to be singing for us, and that's going to be a great event. Combined chapel next week. The week after that will be our last chapel of the year. It's very sad. And for some of you, it will be your last elementary chapel ever. <laughs> so we're going to say goodbye to fifth grade that day, and that will be it for chapel. In three weeks, we're going to celebrate our kindergarten classes, and they're going to have their graduation, and that will be their last day of school. So that's the rundown of what May will look like. At this time, however, let's invite Miss Andronica, because we have some very big AR news. So we have a ton of students that are going to be getting their 10%, 25, 50, 75, 100, all those we've got to go through first. And then after we do the awards, I'm going to run through all the students that have won the mystery field trip, and we will reveal where you guys are going this year. So from K-5, Miss Lisa, 25%. 10%, Miss Natalie Pattis. And Zion Smith has hit 25%. In first grade, getting their 10%, Mr. Jake Vinod, Jake Charles Vinod, hitting his 100% right in time, Mr. Andy Stanyets. Also hitting his 100%, Mr. Nathan Andronic. From second grade, hitting 100%, Isaac Kim. Hitting the 75% mark, Miss Sky Smiths. There you go. You hit 100. Also hitting 100%, Camilla Kiyosak. From third grade, 100%, Mr. Philip Lazowski. Hitting 25%, Max Patafi, Maxim. 
with a 100% reward, Miss Yeva Mukchak. All right, y'all ready for this one? This guy's been really busy this month with 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%, Victor Moradian. Becoming a member of the 200% Club, Mr. Michael Mamatalk. And with 100%, Mr. Alex Young. Fourth grade, 10%, Mr. Ethan Derjai. With 10%, Mr. Matthew Martinenko. 10%, Eva Mitrick. 25%, Calvin Stanietz. 25%, Ilya Petrenko. Hitting 100%, Miss Angelica Rusev. And 75% Club, Robert Madovi. Fifth grade was very busy also. 25%, Madison Boy. With 25, 50, 75, 100, Mr. Adam Cochin. Ten percent, Miss Yana Vlascheska. Fifty percent, seventy-five percent, and one hundred percent, Amy Kucherave. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, a hundred, Stanley Meridian. Seventy-five and a hundred, Miss Layla Yuryachuk. 50, 75, 100, Hannah Bogdan. She out there. 100%, Emmanuel Lazowski. 75 and 100, Ella Pashniak. 75 and 100, Noel Peterson. And one more 200 percenter. We got Vitaly Mamatov. All right, so those are the final winners of the percentages. Now, I'm going to call your name and I want you to stand up. I have 37 people going on the mystery field trip. I believe that is a record. So we have to keep in mind, I can't spend a thousand billion dollars on all of you. So we had to find something kind of low budget, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. I remember back to field trips when I was a very young lad living in Metro Atlanta. And after I call out your names, just stand up where you are and I'm going to tell you where we're going. Connor Payne, Ishita, Sophia in first grade, Ali in first grade, Daniel, Timothy, Milana, Elijah, and Elijah, two Elijahs, Andy, and Nathan. Second grade, Isaac and Isaac. <laughs> All the boys in second grade. And Camilla, Camilla. Third grade, Hannah, Michael, Matthew, Emma, Philip, Yeva, Victor, and Alex. Y'all stand up. Fourth grade, Emmett, Nancy, Nikita, and Angelica. Fifth grade, Ricky, Vitali, Victoria, Noel, Emmanuel, Layla, Amy, Adam, Stanley, Ella, and Hannah. All right, so here we go. Y'all ready? This year, we are going to climb to the top of Stone Mountain, Georgia. Yeah! 
So we're going to have a big picnic for you guys, and we are going to climb up to the top. That is a very good social distancing COVID field trip. We're going to be outside, very safe. So we are looking forward to that. May 18th is my scheduled day. However, if it looks like it did the last two days, we're going to postpone it. We will go on a very pretty day. So May 18th, we'll talk to you and tell you more about it later. But for right now, let's keep that celebration going. Let's welcome the elementary praise team. And we're gonna do all three songs right here at the beginning, all three. So everybody stand up, let's prepare for praise and worship.
Thank you, praise team. That was a lightning round of songs. I love it. There is a Lego on the stage. That is so random. All right. That might be the winner, the trophy for the winning team today. <laughs> let me get Alexandra. Are you going to pray for us this morning? Alexandra asked. I'm going to let her pray for us. I always think in that first song, I always think about that one part that goes, now freeze, and everybody point to Ken. Now stop. Ooh, y'all are good at that. All right, let's go on ahead. Let's uh, stop. Let's go ahead and um, bow our heads, close our eyes. Here's Alexander. Dear God, dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you so we can be in good color. And be good in chapel. Amen. Amen. You on a good color? I hope so. All right. Okay. Here are the rules for Bible trivia. We are going to play four rounds. The first round will be K4 on this side versus K5. We are going to do a best to our first to five. And Miss Olga's, Miss Andronic, is going to be our Vanna White today. She's going to be our scorekeeper. And the first team to get five questions correct will be our champion for the year. After we are done with that one, I will switch out. The kindergartners will have a seat and we'll switch to the first grade on this side, second grade on this side. All right. Then after that, we'll do round three, third grade versus four fourth and then after that fifth grade versus some of your teachers you guys like that idea all right y'all got this fifth grade all right so at this time let me invite the k4 contestants y'all come on up And the K-5 contestants, come on up. And today I have three mics for both tables, so we might have to have one group, little team, share the microphones. Take one, take one, and then we can have share. And then everybody get a buzzer. Everybody get a buzzer. Here's for you. Everybody have their buzzer. Oh, grab your buzzer. Okay, we're going to start off just to get them understanding how this works. I want, look at your number. If you're number one, push your buzzer. Number one, push your buzzer. All right, what's your name? Tell us your name, number one. Zion, welcome. All right, number two, press your buzzer. Push your buzzer. What's your name? Joseph. All right, very good. Make sure those mics are on and speak really loud. Number three, push your buzzer. What's your name? Violet. Violet, oh, very good, did a good job. And number four, push your buzzer. Share your mic, Hello? share the mic. What's your name? Natalie. Natalie, very good, welcome K5. <laughs> Contestant five, push your buzzer. All right, in your microphone, tell us your name. Randy. Randy, welcome to the stage. Number six, push your button. Now tell us your name. Use your mic, do the mic. Y'all got to share with Randy. You need to share with Randy today. Randy, let him borrow the mic. What's your name? Nathan. All right, Nathan. Welcome. Number seven, hit your button. What's your name? So. That is correct. And number eight, what's your name? What's your name? Sophia. Sophia. Welcome, K4. So as soon as I ask the question, this will reset and you guys will be able to buzz in. So the first question is, what was the color of the sea or the colorful name of the sea that Moses parted? What sea, what color was it? Was it yellow, black, red, or blue? Push your button if you know. Contestant number two. Blue is incorrect. Do you guys want to steal? What color was the name of the sea that Moses parted? Was it yellow, black, or red? You want to guess? Not sure? Take a guess. You want to push the button and guess? 
Yellow, black, or red? Somebody try. Audience? The Red Sea. Okay, let's try a new question. New question. On what day of the week is Easter? Push your button if you know the answer. What day of the week is Easter? Easter what? Shh. Contestant two. Sunday. Sunday is correct. Point for the blue team. Next question. Who was found floating in a basket on a river? Contestant number one. Who was found in a basket on the river? Was it David, Moses, or Abraham? Moses. Moses? That is correct. Good job, red team. Next question. Who did God tell to build an ark? Contestant number two? Noah. Noah is correct. Good job. Next question. Who was the very first woman? Contestant number eight? Eve, I heard it. That is correct. Give it to K4. <laughs> Y'all use the microphones. Okay, good job. It is three to one. Next question. Who was swallowed by a great fish? Contestant number two? Jonah. Jonah is correct. Woo. Mr. Rusev is on fire. Very good. Next question. On what holiday do we celebrate the birth of Jesus? Contestant number one. On what holiday do we celebrate the birth of Jesus? Christmas. Christmas. Is that five points? Give it up for K5. All right, y'all put your microphones down gently. Put the mics down gently. Put your And you guys can go have a seat. Good job. Thanks for playing. All right, y'all going back to your chairs. Y'all can go back to your chairs. Go on back, guys. Good, good job. Y'all did so wonderful. Let's welcome to the stage first and second grade. Second, first. Be careful. Be careful. Don't trip. Be careful. Go around the tables. All right, let's do a test run. Contestant number one, hit your buzzer. What's your name? My name is Isaac. Isaac, welcome. Contestant number two, hit your buzzer. Name? Emma. Emma, welcome to the stage. Contestant number three, name please? Camilla. Camilla, welcome. And contestant number four, very good. Juliana. Juliana, welcome second grade. Number five. Amy. Amy, correct. Six. Mirabella. Mirabella, correct. Number seven. Andy. Andy is correct. And number eight. Tima. They all got it right. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to step up. Those were very easy questions. They get progressively tougher as we get older. Question number one. What is the last book of the Bible? Number three. Revelation. Revelation. Yes, wait, it was number three. Listen for your number. That's correct. Second grade. Very good. Yes. Next question. Where was the very first place, the beginning of the world where Adam and Eve lived? Number six. Eden. Eden. The Garden of Eden is correct. Very good. Next question. How many days and nights did it rain during the great flood? Button number one, Isaac. How many days and 44? nights? Did it, how many? Forty. Forty is correct. Very good. Wait, that's Blue hard. team. Next question. How many thousand people did Jesus feed fish and bread? Contestant number three, Camilla. 5,000. 5,000 is correct. All 
All right, it's three to one. Name the disciple who betrayed Jesus. Number six, that is Mirabella. Who betrayed Jesus? Jonah. Jonah, that is incorrect for the steal. Who betrayed Jesus? Oh, let me reset, reset. What, y'all want to just tell me, do you know? Number one. Judas. Judas is correct. They got it. They took the steal. All yes. right. All right, it's four to one. This could be it. Who cut off a soldier's ear when Jesus was being arrested? Number three. Peter. Peter is correct. That's a big win for second. All right. Y'all leave your microphones, drop everything very gently on the tables. Good job. Thank you guys for playing. Doing very good on time. <laughs> and now let's welcome up to the stage, third grade versus fourth. Walk, 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 walk. Be careful and go around. Go around. All right, contestant number one, your name, please. My name is Rob. Robert, that is correct. Contestant number two, hit your button. Make sure you got it. My name is Matthew. Matthew, welcome to the game. Number three. Angelica. Angelica, welcome. Number four. Bella. Bella. You've played before, haven't you, Bella? Yeah, we've seen you. Contestant number five. Leah. Leah, welcome. Number six. Hannah. Hannah is correct. Number seven. Grab a mic. Victor. Victor. Congratulations. Welcome. And number eight. Michael. Michael. Let's give a hand to third and fourth grade. Fourth and third grade. Thank you. All right. Here we go. The questions are getting tougher. Where did the slave traders take Joseph? Contestant two. Egypt. Egypt is correct. Very good. Next question. What did God send to feed the Israelites in the desert? Contestant number seven. Uh, bread. Bread? We want to give it to them? Miss Brown. Yeah, no, let's, let's give it. All right, all right, all right. The bread was one thing. What was the type of bird? You can answer that as well. What type of bird? Raven. Not raven. Let me let you guys take the try. Quail. What's that? Quail. Bella? Quail. And what was the type of bread? Manna. Manna. Okay, it was manna and quail. It's a type of bread, yes. But we're looking for the specifics. All right, next question. It is two to zero. Who was the first king of Israel? Number eight. First king of Israel. Saul. Saul is correct. Very good. When the Philistines came to attack the Israelites, who mocked God and challenged them? Number one. Goliath. Goliath is correct. Next question. What did Solomon build for the Lord? Number three. A temple. A temple is correct. All right. Next question. Whose dream did Daniel interpret in Babylon? Number six. Whose dream did Daniel interpret in Babylon? Pharaoh's. Not Pharaoh. Want to take this? Number one. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. That is correct. Congratulations to our fourth grade. Y'all got it. Very good. Y'all can have a seat. Be careful. Drop my mics and the buzzers very carefully. Is this mad about you? It's a very old TV show. All right. At this time, let's welcome our fifth grade contestants. Yeah. 
And if I have any teachers that would like to volunteer to come up, you guys can volunteer your teachers. I'm going to start picking. All I hear is Mr. Farley. I guess Mr. Farley's got to come up. Come on, Mr. Farley. Let's see. Anybody else? Who else do you guys want to see? Y'all want Miss Brown? Miss Brown, here, come on down, Miss Brown. You've got this. How about Miss Tate? Welcome up, Miss Tate. Okay, how about Miss Colette as well? Miss Colette. <laughs> All righty. Welcome to the stage. <laughs> Always have some very excited teachers to be on the stage. Where's Miss Bollinger? Congratulations. All right. <laughs> And Ms. Wadibi. Let's welcome our contestants from the fifth grade side. Contestant number five. Ring your buzzer. Buzzer. What's your name? Manuel. That is correct. Contestant six. Yes, sir. Stanley. Stanley is correct. Contestant number seven. Oh, go ahead. There you go. Seven. Victoria. Victoria, welcome to the stage. And contestant number eight. Amy. Amy, very good. Welcome fifth grade. And contestant number one, sir, your name please. Mr. Shaw. Oh, no, that wait, is incorrect. I'm I I sorry, that is incorrect. Oh no, it's, uh, what is it? Oh, Mr. Farley. Very good, congratulations. Contestant number two. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Brown, thank you very much. Contestant number three. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Collett. And contestant number two. Yes, ma'am. Miss Tate. Miss Tate. Are you guys ready? Here we go. First question What is the shortest book of the Bible? Number one. Third John. Third John is correct. Next question. How many people were saved on the ark? Number five. Six. Six? That is incorrect. Number six. No, hey, hold on. No, 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 no. He hit his own. Okay, you guys for the steal. Eight. Eight? That is correct. Noah, his wife, and then Ham, Sham, Japheth, and their wives. Very good. Next question. Who preached at Pentecost? Number one. Peter. Peter is correct. <laughs> we have a ringer over here that didn't even want to play. Which apostle took the gospel to the city of Samaria? Number seven, which apostle took the gospel to the city of Samaria? John. Not John. You got five seconds for the, for the take. Contestant three. Paul? Not Paul. Do you guys know? <laughs> Philip is correct. Philip. Mr. Madovi knew it. Very good. <laughs> All right, here we go. In what book of the Bible do we find the fruit of the Spirit? Number one. Ephesians. That is incorrect for the tape. What book of the Bible would we find the fruit of the Spirit? Six. Colossians. Say again. Colossians. Galatians is correct. Oh, he said Colossians. It's Colossians. I'm sorry, it's Galatians. I'm sorry, I thought I, I thought I, I kind of thought you said that. 
It's Galate. It sounded like you said Galatians. Not really a book. All right, we'll try new. New question, new question. Name the occupation of both prisoners in jail with Joseph. Number three. A baker and a butler. A baker and a... Butler. A what? Butler. A butler. Can we accept... We can't accept butler. For the take, what were the two... We have a baker and the... That is correct. The cup bearer. He got it. He got it. Very good. Good job, fifth grade. The butler in. All right. Next question. Which brother volunteered to stay in Egypt instead of Benjamin? Which brother volunteered to stay in Egypt instead of Benjamin? Number six. Judah. Judah is correct. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. This is, a, this is our closest game so far. I love it. Here we go. How many rocks or stones did David take out of the brook to fight Goliath? Number one? Five. Five is correct. It's two to four. Here we go. How many wives did King Solomon have? Number one? 700. 700, Mr. Farley! The teachers have taken it. You guys give a big hand to fifth grade and our teachers. No. That was wonderful. Wonderful. Good job. You guys nailed it. How about a big hand to Miss Andronic? All right, guys, we appreciate you playing in our third edition of the Bible Trivia Challenge for elementary. I'm going to pray us out. Let's go ahead and sit real still. Sit real still. Let's pray. Let's all bow our heads. We did amazing on time. I can't believe it. Let's all bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for the ability to come to a school where we can learn about you. We thank you so much for the ability to have a good time and to praise and worship you. We just ask that you be with us during this final month of the school year. Bless our teachers and students. Give us a great rest of our day. And in your name, in Jesus' name, we all pray and said, Thank you for playing!